Chinese hot oil has gotten so popular, I literally see it all over YouTube, so I'm not surprised that I got a request for it on this humble channel. So today I'm showing you how to make not just your regular hot oil, but Jiu Chao chili oil, which is a little bit of a hidden gem, but if you ask me, it's the king of all Chinese chili oils. It's packed with garlicky umami and even has a little fruity kick. But I should just stop talking now. My name is Andung and this is how to make Jiu Chao hot oil. Just real quick before we get started, if you like recreating mouth-watering dishes from the whole world, like China, you have come to the right place. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell for weekly food inspiration. Now let's make some chili oil. One of the things that makes Jiu Jiao chili oil so special is that it uses partly fresh chilies. I am trimming off the ends, cutting them up into rough chunks and blitzing them into a paste in a food processor. Looking good. Another thing that really defines this hot oil is the insane amount of garlic that we're gonna use. Two whole heads. And we all know what comes next, lots and lots of peeling. And you're probably thinking, what the hell is he doing? Well, watch this. You can use any large, hard, closed container, like a pot with a lid, and then just shake the shit out of your garlic. I wouldn't use this method if I had one clove or two, but if you have a massive amount like this, it's a major time saver. Now I'm just dumping my shaked garlic into a bowl and most cloves have basically shed their skins, look at that. And the rest is just a matter of seconds. Gotta mince up that garlic as well and I am using my food processor and blitzing until the garlic has somewhat of a pasty consistency. Next up we need some chili flakes, but store bought chili flakes, mm -mm, too easy. I put my wok on medium heat and add in dried chilies. Gotta be careful and keep stirring them because they kind of burn easily. A few minutes later this smells nice and toasty, which means they're ready. Bless you, gotta prepare for some chili dust. So my chili doesn't look quite right yet, there are too many large pieces. And I'm just gonna switch to a smaller food processor. Yep, that's what I'm talking about. So now these three are our main components. And now we're ready to make some chili oil. So here's the plan. We want to infuse our oil with those aromatics, but we don't want to burn them because they'll turn out bitter. So I'm going in with about a third of my oil on medium low and adding in all of the garlic paste. That amount of oil is enough for the first stage and it will make sweating our aromatics easier. Once the oil comes to a simmer, let it bubble away for around 15 to 20 minutes. Make sure to keep an eye on that temperature. A gentle simmer just like this or around 100 degrees Celsius will do. Once your garlic is almost golden brown but just not quite there, add in your fresh chili paste. Simmer for another 10 minutes. You can stir occasionally to make sure nothing sticks to the bottom. Now while that stuff is simmering away, let us talk about Chinese chili oil for just a second. So as always, there are different types and local varieties of Chinese hot oil. Most people will think of that classic and super spicy red hot chili oil from Sichuan. For a good reason, it's really really tasty and there are a lot of good recipes out there, I'll link to my favorites in the comments. But it belongs to Sichuan cuisine, totally different from what we're doing here, totally different concept of what spiciness is and how it should be used. Chiu chili oil is from a city that you will find as Chaozhou on the map. It's kind of sandwiched between Guangdong province and Fujian province. The food in the region is much more delicate with sweet and umami notes. Here's some footage of a street market I visited in the region a couple of years ago and you can clearly see how much fresh seafood there is on the streets, how many fresh vegetables. So in spite of the very mellow food preferences that people have in the region, the Jojo chili oil that we're making is kind of the exception to the rule. It's one of the few really spicy flavors and things that people in Guangdong or Chaozhou will traditionally put on or in their food. Okay, 10 minutes are up and I cannot wait anymore. This smells and looks great. So I'm first topping up with the rest of my oil. Then I'm adding my dried chilies along with some sugar. Now I'm just gonna stir everything together and just briefly bring it to a simmer. Now all we have to do is turn the heat off, add a dash of soy sauce and just a little bit of sesame oil. And now the fancy part. Get a hipster container of your choice and try to pour in your hot oil, making as little of a mess as possible. Maybe use a funnel if you have one. But there you have it, incredibly aromatic Jiu Chao chili oil. 
put it on literally anything. It's not too spicy, but it's so packed with flavor. And here's an idea. I recently made a video about spicy garlic eggplant, yuxiang qiezi. Now this hot oil will take any yuxiang dish to the next level, trust me. I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe you even learned something on the way. Head over to my channel for more food inspiration from all over the world. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>